What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Majestic Gaming. Today we have a video review of Killing Floor 2's update for Incinerate and Detonate. We currently have two brand new maps, Catacombs and Evacuation Point. We'll be going through short four waves for each map just to show you a bit of gameplay footage. As well as the new update contains two brand new perks, Firebug and Demolitions. So we'll showcase each one of them first. First map we'll try out is Catacombs. As well as you can see here, we've got the Demolitionist here. Dealing demolished weapon damage, killing flesh pounds with demolition weapons. As you can see, perk weapon damage, explosive resistance, extra explosive ammo, and firebug. Dealing firebug weapon damage, killing crawlers with firebug weapons. Alright, we'll go with the demolitionist first up. And, as I was saying, this is a brand new map here, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, catacombs, very short, dark. I think we're in France, this looks like the uh, tunnels of France, how they have that catacombs of all the skulls and things. Very fun and unique feature. Way Explosive 9mm. Awesome. Alright. Very interesting. So we sort of want to get them nice and close together as well. That's sort of why. The reason being why we're taking a little bit of damage. Just seeing how much and what we can do. As well. As you can see, demolished weapons are always best in the group. Alright. Awesome. Alright, so we got the H. The HX25 grenade pistol at the moment. Let's see what else is available. Wow, this place is just. Wow. Very, very nice. Very interesting. You earned the money. Now spend it. Alright, Demolitionist. We got C4 explosives, the M79 grenade launcher, and the RP7. RPG7, sorry. So we've also got sticks of dynamite instead of having your standard grenades. As well. Alright. As we can see here, we've reached a underground catacomb part. Even deeper, you've got coffins in the walls. Just I'm generalized lighting. Very nice, unique touch with lamps and HDR and bloom effects. As well as we've got old canopy doors. Pods closed. Go make a difference. And looks like we appear we've got a the grave. So this seems to be like a, a catacomb, but more or less like a like a history sort of feature, which would imply like a museum. So, which is pretty cool. Now, as of the new update, dude, there are quite a few changes that have been made. The NPCs are a little more aggressive than usual. They won't stand, walk around in circles, and come back. They'll go straight for you. Boom. Alright, that's that. We're going back up here. And bloody stay dead. That's how we do it. Alright, this, with, as usual, with grenade weapons and demolition perk weapons, the best way to kill them is in a group, so you want to lure them together. So you can take out a mass amount of at once. You say something. Another thing too, with this map it's very dark, very hard to see. Way more where that came from. Shit. As well. Alright. Boom. Bim bada boom. Alright, just getting them grouped together. We only cleared this batch out. Nice work. We can reopen the trader pod soon. The best thing about this weapon is that it contains quite a bit of ammo, which is always good. Say something. 
Snap. All right. Okay, wave 204 at the moment, heading next to the trader pod as well. Up to our next destination. Bring up the trading controls and upgrade your gear. Just coming down here around past We're the trading pod down the stairs and we've got Make your choices. skeletons as well as more coffins. And up here we've got it's very tight, very rigid in this map, so you don't want to get caught in the corner. There are a lot of spaces where you can get caught, as we've seen the first time I was playing. Rookie mistake running into a corner, but hey, Last chance. I have that's to how we do it. Pod. Going around here, that seems to be in what appears to be, I on the scope. think, Back to it, mes amis. Roman or Greek? I don't think it's Latin. I'm not sure. As we can see, coming around here. What we want to do is we want to get into much of a big open area as we can. Try not to get cornered too much. Okay, interesting. Shut the door there. Alright. So as I was saying before, this place is very rigid, very tight, very hard to get through. Boom. Now, as with this weapon here, it takes quite a while to reload. Itself. Siren it is. Enemies inbound. Excellent. That's nearly all of them. Alright, if necessary I might do part one and two of this video itself. Just in case we run out of time. Wanna showcase as much gameplay and things as possible. part of the map down here, as you can see up here through there, up and around. So it seems to be there's only the three trader pods in this map, so the map gear. is very tight, very rigid and not that big, but big enough to have quite enclosed catacombs. Alright. Ah, oh, okay, so unlike killing floor 1 with C4 explosives, you can only carry two at a time, but it will upgrade with the power can stand with the standard 5 as well. Alright. And the RPG-7, which I'm very Our curious to use and interested Must as well. Very soon. Now its ability is it can fire RPGs forward and backwards, which I think is a very strange but unique touch to the game itself. Right. I'm about to shut the pod. Just waiting for our next gameplay of the final wave before the boss. Time's up. Go kill some Zeds. Put a C4 a there. C4 here. Boom. Place another one down there. Now to detonate the C4 you have to right click, it's not automatic, as you can see, so don't forget that as well. Alright, before we take out the flesh pound we might as well take out the others. Alright. 
Alright, where's everyone else? Gotta keep moving. Boom! Trying not to get trapped. Game time. Drop and burn. Shit. This weapon's very slow to reload. It's quite a little bit of long range itself, as well, which is always good. And the AI are very, very much more aggressive than normal. Damn it! Got him. We've got a cipher here. Anything? I'm deaf as a post. Get it off me! I hear. Shit! All right. Just trying to find a way around. I'm not used to the maps the first time I played it before, so... Christ. I'm just getting murked at the moment. As you can see there, the siren can deflect the bullets. Well, the grenades, the explosive, the demolitionist weapon ammo. So, be very careful with that. Alright, let's throw some dynamite. We've got a Alright, so they adjusted the mechanics of the flash pound, they they block when they run now, which is quite interesting. They don't run open armed. So very difficult to sort of take them out. When you're done, I can reopen the well, pod. unless you do it like that. Alright, and also the new effect with the update, you've got giblets as well, so body parts can be sprayed. Get out of the way, you fat fuck. Alright. Oh. It's burning me! Crap, I seem to be a bit cornered at the moment. Shit. Ah, get off. Eyes on a strike. Spin freely. Things oh, are crap. All right, there we go. So. Okay, so I'll be doing a couple of videos on this, I'll be showcasing the gameplay of the game itself and then I'll be doing the wave gameplay as we're watching now, so I'll be cutting different bits and pieces. Bonjour. Come and get your tools of trade. Alright. Okay, we're currently using the M79 as well, so... Just see how that goes for now. We're almost out of time. Make your choices. Got a weapon here. All right. So the M seventy nine only carries one ammo per time per reload. Very interesting. Last chance. I have to power down the pod. Alright, now for the bus way. I will crush you like little Luca. It will be my 
Oh, it even has an introduction now, which is awesome. It's pretty cool then. Alright, where are you? Where are you? Alright. Hmm. M79 doesn't seem to be doing that much damage at the moment. Ah, so now the boss's weapons now have hit marks, so you can actually see where the gas marks and things are.